Genesis chapter 32. Jacob is the younger brother and Esau is the elder brother. The elder son has the birthright in those days and Jacob cheats his brother, steals the birthright and runs away. In the meanwhile, he cheats his father, took the blessings and he left the house and ran away. In chapter 32, after 20 long years, Esau is coming to meet Jacob with 400 people. And in verse number 7, Jacob is greatly afraid and distressed. He cries out to God and says, Lord, deliver me from, my, from the hands of my brother. Now listen carefully. Jacob was all alone. Jacob was in darkness. Jacob was in fear. Jacob was in distress. And he calls out to God and says, Lord, please help me from my hands of my brother. Whenever you are in fear, in loneliness, in darkness, in confusion, when you cry out the name of Jesus, he will come to help you because he's a God of compassion. He's a God of love. He's a God of mercy. And he will surely come and help you. When the Lord came to help Jacob, Jacob held on to God. He was clinging on to God and would not let go of God until morning. The Bible says in verse 24, God wrestled with Jacob, but Jacob would not let go. Many of us pray for one hour and we think everything is over. But Jacob, he prayed and he held on to God and said, Until you bless me, I will not let you go. When the Lord saw that Jacob would not leave him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And Jacob's thigh was out of joint. And now he started to limp. But limping, in pain, in distress, but still, he's clinging on to God. Limping, but clinging. Limping, but clinging on to God. My dear friends, this is where many of us leave the hands of God. Some of us say, oh, I came to God and I was praying. But what is the use? Nothing good happened in my life. Some people say, after coming to God, I'm getting more pain. But I want to tell you, see Jacob clinging on and now limping yes his condition has become worse because he's limping but still clinging on to God and he's saying whatever happens I will not leave you until you bless me the Lord looks at him and says your name will no longer be Jacob but your name will be Israel Jacob means deceiver Israel means the one who finds favor with God and man Jacob means last one. Israel means the one ahead of the others. Yes, his identity was changed because he was limping but clinging. See, what a promise God has given Jacob. He gives him a promise. Even though you are the last, I will make you the first. Your name will no more be a deceiver but you will be finding favor with God and man the name of an entire nation is come to Jacob because though he was limping he was clinging even if there is calamities around don't give up even if it is to limp don't leave your clinging because limping and clinging together gives you the blessing Limping and clinging gives you the blessing. Finally, in verse 29, Jacob tells the Lord, Lord, tell me your name. What is your name? I love that. Please tell me your name. And God said, wherefore you inquired my name, I will bless you. And he blessed him there. In the midst of getting honor, we get a small promotion, we leave the hands of God. But this man, he's getting 
His name itself is changed. His identity is changed. In the midst of all that great promise, looks at God and asks him, please tell me your name. In other words, he's inquiring, I want to know you more. In the midst of getting all your blessings and promises, don't let go of God. Because after that comes the blessing. When you get little, a little job, a little money, a little beauty, a little bit of uh, uh, pleasures, a small house, don't leave the hand of God. It is important that you cling on to God because that is when you will be blessed forever. Today the decision we take is, Lord, I want to seek you more. I want to honor you. I want to know your name, Lord. Tell me your name. Show me your face. Show me your glory. Give me your grace. I want to hear your voice. And when you seek more of the Lord, I assure you that he will come and bless you. May God bless you to be, to stay with the Lord, even in the midst of trouble, even in the midst of promises. Then comes the blessing.